G'day guys, welcome to Yenna Beauty. My name is Tanya and for those who are new, I'm your person with a guinea pig, which basically means that uh, I like to test beauty products so you guys don't have to, whether that's something to do with affordability, shade range, you know, skin preferences or anything like that, you can come here, check it out, see if it works on me, see if it's going to work for you. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, feel free, go ahead, click that subscribe button, but I don't have a regular upload schedule, so don't forget to check the bell, that way you'll be notified of every video that I do do. But today, we are going to be talking about my current favourites. That sounds like something that you're interested in? Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. I'm glad that intro is out of the way. I whoa, I have done that intro like 10 times already and every single time I messed up the word subscribe or uh, I don't know. Mm. Anyway, that's out of the way. I'm trying to get that sort of stuff done at the start as quickly as possible and I think that's why I'm messing up is because I'm, I know you guys don't want to hear this every single time but it does mean a lot to me, uh, any support that I do get from you guys. So anyway. I am currently dealing with a hair situation. So I got more hair cut off than I really anticipated that I was going to and now I'm left with what do I do with it? So <laughs> I, I can't put it up, I can't keep it down without it looking like some sort of mum bob or anything like that. So please do excuse the hair. Uh, but today I want to talk to you about some products that I'm absolutely loving. Some of them are hair care products, some of them are makeup. But anyway. Let's get on with the video and talk about my first current favourite. So I stumbled across a brand a little while ago. Actually, I don't know how, but um, I think I might have seen it online. Maybe maybe somebody else on YouTube was talking about it and I don't know. But anyway, the brand is called Thank You. Um, I believe it's an Australian brand and, uh, and I've been meaning to look into it a lot more than I have. I've only been trying the products and just taking for granted that um, what I've been told is real. But as far as I'm aware, um, 100% of the profits go towards, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> poverty, basically. Um, but I'm not exactly sure where that is. So the brand is called Thank You, and I've tried two products right now. And the first product that I want to talk to you right now about is the hand cream. Now, I love the smell of this hand cream, and that's why it's in my current favorites at the moment. So for a hand cream for me, and not only do I want it to work, but I want it to smell good. And I've tried a few of them at the moment. I've tried the chemistry, I've tried tough hands, um, and now I've tried thank you. And I didn't really like the chemistry one. I did use it for a while, um, and I saw something, but I didn't see enough. But I really can't stand the smell of the chemistry brand hand cream. So I stopped using that one. As for tough hands, I haven't played with that one enough to give a full opinion, but I wasn't really too thrilled with the smell of that one either. And then I fell... Well, and then I came across the Thank You brand uh, and I thought I'd give it a go and not only was it affordable but like I said if the profits do go somewhere good then great and I love the smell. Now the smell is what makes me keep coming back and using it so I'm notoriously not putting moisturizers on when I'm supposed to. It's very difficult for me to get a routine of a night time where I sit down and I just focus on my skincare. Um, I do do my face care and everything like that, but when it comes to hands, I, I kind of forget. And the smell of this product makes me keep coming back. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a nature smell, but like citrus and forest. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's got like lemongrass uh, tones to it. I haven't actually looked at the ingredients, but I love the smell of this. This is why I put it on every day. Now... It is moisturizing. It soaks in really, really quick. I love that. I do think that um, it could be a little bit more wow factor. Like I think that um, it may be missing some ingredients. I have really, really high expectations when it comes to my um, moisturizers and skincare because I do have really dry skin and nothing that I've used yet uh, has really made my hands feel plump and hydrated for long periods of time. So granted, I am only using this in the night time, but yeah, uh, I'm still on the hunt for a really, really good hand cream, but this one smells amazing, and I remember to use it because of that reason. So if you guys know of any hand creams that not only smell amazing, but work amazingly, please guys, drop me a link down below. Drop me a link. Drop me a message down below because I really want to know. I'm really trying to find my, I guess, holy grail, I don't know what the terms are anymore, um, I just want to find 
a really, really good product. So let me know down below if you're trying anything, you know something, let's chat. The next thing I want to talk to you about is also from Thank You. And this is the first thing that I actually tried from them. And this is their body wash. So, oh gosh, I don't have the bottle in front of me, but it's cedarwood and, uh-oh, maybe it's just cedarwood. I don't know. I'm going to put a picture up here for you anyway, but uh, once again, smells amazing. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is I love the fact that it's a, a sort of like a gel. Um, it's a clear gel formula, so I don't have to worry about it staining the bottoms of my floors. Bottoms of my floors. I don't have to worry about it staining the basin of my shower uh, or anything like that. But what I have found is I've needed to use some sort of loofah or floof or whatever you want to call it, some sort of body a uh, scrubber, even a face washer, because if you don't, it is the consistency of like hair gel where it will literally just slip off your hand, land on the ground, product gone, whatever, right? So it does lather up very, very well, suds, whatever you want to call it. I really do enjoy it. I love mm -hmm. the smell. I feel like that um, it could be just that little bit stronger. But once again, it's also sort of like a woodsy, uh, earthy, citrusy, I just love it. I, mm, I love it. And I want to find somewhere where I can get more products like this, more body washes like this. I don't like the floral scented body washes. I, yeah. So another one, guys, let me know down below. Have you got any body washes that are like earthy, citrusy, woody or anything like that? Um, these guys are nice. I really enjoy it. And I'm really excited to try more products from them. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anyone in this video, by the way. <laughs> I'm just enjoying these products at the moment. So the next one that I want to uh, talk to you guys about is uh, two products from a brand called Bean Body. Uh, I have a lip scrub and a lip balm that are coffee flavored. Now, there's pros and cons to this as well. I I really enjoy the lip scrub. I like that it's in a squeezy tube. I can pump out as much as I want, roll it on. Um, but what I don't like about this is it says on the packet that it's not intended for eating. And, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and I'm nom nom nom, like, honestly. But I'm concerned that if it's saying that it's not intended for eating, I really get concerned about making sure that none of it slips into my mouth. And it's really hard because when you've got something that's got a flavour, you want to lick your lips, right? So don't you think that you should create a product if, if it's intended for the lips and it's got flavour, that you make it safe for ingesting so i don't know i'm a little bit confused about that but i really do like it i think it's a fantastic lip scrub it's got the perfect milled sort of scrubby particles in it and it smells and tastes delicious yes i've got it in my mouth i've licked my lips i can't help it okay so yeah i really do enjoy the lip balm or lip gloss or whatever it is as well it feels more like a lip oil um but <laughs> The longevity is not the greatest of it. So I do enjoy also that it's in a squeezy tube as well. I can put it in my bag. I know that it's not going to, the lid's not going to accidentally fall off. It's a screw cap. Um, and I love the amount that you get in there. I also love the scent flavor. Um, also says that it's not intended for eating. I don't know, but I really do enjoy those two products. Um, and yeah. I'll definitely repurchase them again. So moving on to the next thing on the list is uh, a body scrub that I've really enjoyed using. It's this guy right here. It's the Shea Moisture Black African Soap. I love this. How do I explain this? It looks like dirty water, like <laughs> extremely dirty sewage water. That's what it looks like, right? It's got little tiny particles in it. It's not super abrasive. Um, gets the job done, though. I use one of those fluffy loofer thingamajiggies I'll show you here. Squeeze a little bit in that. It looks repulsive, but it smells divine. It kind of smells like, um, I want to say baby powder, but not the Johnson's baby powder, like the Curash baby powder. I don't know, but it kind of smells like that a little bit with notes of like vanilla. Um, it's just gorgeous. I love it. It's gentle on my skin and I have extra sensitive eczema prone skin. Um, I can use it every single day if I want to and not have any adverse sort of reactions. It leaves my skin feeling like, I want to say buttery smooth, you know, like it feels really, really luxurious. I can smell it on my skin after the shower. I really do enjoy it. Um, I spend a little bit more on it than I normally would for a regular body wash, body scrub. 
Uh, but I definitely think it's worth it. Uh, yeah, and my partner absolutely loves it as well. So that's a double bonus. And I've actually seen um, he gets quite a lot of back acne. And uh, when he's, so he's been using this and it's been clearing it up a lot. I'm not saying that it's a medication. We've got to be real careful about what we say here now on YouTube. No, but it seems to be doing a better job of keeping his skin cleaner rather than some of the other things that we may have been using. So I really enjoy that. And uh, yeah, that's why it's on my current favorites. So the next one we're going to be talking about is a mascara. Now guys, I ordered a liquid lipstick from Mecca and in there came a sample. In there came a sample and it was a mascara, tiny, tiny little mascara sample from a brand called Westman Atlia, Westman Atlia or something like that called the I Love You. The I Love You Mascara and I tried it on and I'm like, well, this is fantastic. I love it. It's not like in your face length, thickness or anything like that. It's kind of like what you want your natural eye lashes to look like. Like you just want them to be fluttery, dark and longer without it actually looking like that you've got mascara on or that you're even trying. That's what it looks like. And I thought, yes, I really need to go and find out how much this stuff costs. I want it. It's just as good as my Essence um, mascara. I thought, beautiful. Now, my Essence mascara is $10, right? So I love that stuff. But I, I thought, this stuff here, I really, really like it because it's even easier to put on than the, um, the Essence Lash Princess mascara. So today, just before I did this video, I decided to go to Mecca and have a look. Well, go online to Mecca and have a look because we're still self-isolating. <sighs> it's a hundred dollars. What the actual fuck? I, 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 I'm gobsmacked. I'm not going to spend that. However, I am going to say that it's one of my favorites because it is. I'm not recommending that you guys go out and buy this sort of stuff. Not at this price. However, if you like to spend money on things and you like things to look really, really natural and you don't mind the price tag, whatever, it is a really, really nice mascara. It's a nice, natural looking one. It's actually what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, maybe I'll zoom in or something. I don't know. But I really do enjoy it. I'm going to use the whole sample. And I'm not going to repurchase it again. I'm going to be very upset, but I will go back to my Essence Lash Princess, whatever. But I am enjoying it right now. And if they just happen to send me out one, I just keep on using it. Really, really am enjoying it. But holy shit. That price is absolutely ridiculous. I would never pay that. Uh, well, I don't think I would ever pay that, even if I was. <laughs> no. I, no, no, no. Anyone, anyway, we're going to move on to something else I'm enjoying. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in uh, Dim Light. Now, I've said this multiple times. I did mean to pick up Ethereal Light. It didn't happen. I picked up Dim, but I am really enjoying it. Now, while it doesn't give me that catfish look that uh, Teresa is Dead always bangs on about with her Chantecaille powders. It does give me a little bit of a um, not buffed but blurring effect to some parts of my face where I have a, either a little bit of texture, a little bit of fine lines. It's not a miracle cure. No, it's not. But I really do enjoy the finish that it does give as an all over buffing sort of powder. I don't use a lot of powder so I will use that one to gently set my makeup. And um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. And I really want to go out and pick up that new one. I can't remember what it's called, but there's a brand new powder out. And now I'm like, oh shit, do I go out and get the ethereal like, like I originally wanted? Or do I go out and get this brand new one that everyone's talking about? And, mm, guys, what do I do? Let me know, yeah? Should I get the ethereal or the brand new one? Or both? Yeah, both though. That, mm, I'm looking at $140 if I get both. Or maybe even more. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. The other thing that I'm enjoying at the moment is the, it's old guys, but it's new to me. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I am loving how simple life is using this palette. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I picked up this palette because I was worried that with everything that Too Faced is pumping out at the moment, that eventually they'll get rid of this palette. And I wanted it in my collection before they got rid of it. If you are thinking along the lines of me, I think you should go and do it because I've been seriously disappointed with palettes that I wanted to go and pick up and I just waited that little bit too long and then it was just completely wiped off the shelves. So if you want this one, I wouldn't leave it too long because I reckon they're going to start wiping things off very soon, especially now that they've got a new neutrals palette. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this one sort of just goes, 
very, very soon. So I really enjoy this. I love how I can do one and done looks or two shades and done whatever. I love that if I mess up with any other eyeshadow, I can just go over with a little bit of um, one of the shimmers or the satins that are in here and just look perfect. And um, yeah, it's just really, really simple and I enjoy it and I love the smell. So it's, it's a double bonus for me. Next thing I've been enjoying, guys, and I mean I have been enjoying this a lot, is the, how do you pronounce this, the Jouer or Jouer um, blush duos. I really, really do enjoy this. I have the duo Adore, which has the shade Adore Me and Hold Me, and I like to use just a little bit from both sides of the pan, but honestly, singly, they are fantastic. It just sort of, I don't know, it's just like a wash of colour that looks natural. Um, I don't know, it's the best blush that I own in my palette. It's just so nice, so easy to use, almost impossible to mess up. Um, I have heard that some of the other shades are very, very pigmented. This one can be pigmented, but um, I think that you can start with this one off being quite light and then build it up. So I really enjoy that. I don't like making mistakes with my blush. Uh, I like blush, don't get me wrong, but I don't like to be too rosy cheek. Anyway, I really, really do enjoy that. Um, I just wish that the packaging was a little bit better quality. Um, I mean, the weight of it feels nice, but the top cover doesn't glue down perfectly uh, to the edges, which kind of frustrates me a little bit because uh, it wasn't cheap, but it was definitely worth the money. The contenting side, fantastic. Will buy again. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need another blush in a long time though. But anyway, moving on to the next one. I've had this one for a while now and I just can't put it down. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. I do want to go and get a couple more shades, uh, but this one, this one's just perfect. Oh, what can I say? Um, but I enjoy it. Like, if I don't want to worry about going outside the lines with my lipstick or smudging or getting it on my teeth or whatever, but I want a little bit of something, I love this. I love this just to go out to the store, to the coffee shop, just when I'm leaving the house. Like, I used to only wear... Mascara. Makeup I never used to wear quite a lot, you know, and I just put mascara on because I just wanted to feel like a bit more put together version of myself when I left the house. And that's all I needed. And now with the uh, mascara and the gloss bomb, I just feel, I don't know, I feel a little bit more special. I don't know whether I look any better, but I feel a little more special when I'm wearing these two together. And it's just simple. And being a mum, if I can just throw on a little bit of mascara, a little bit of lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, <laughs> lip gloss stays on for, f it stays on for a very long time and it's beautiful. The way the light catches in the, I want to call it glitter, but it just, it doesn't feel like glitter. The way it bounces off, it's, it's stunning. It really is. Um, Rihanna did a really, really good job on that. Uh, Fenty did a really good job on that. And, um, I'm going to have to recommend it. I, I I can't find any flaws in that. Uh, even the smell I enjoy. So anyway, we have two more and they're both lipsticks. So the first one I want to talk about is Jeffree Star's Androgyny Lipstick. I love the colour of this, but I, I think, because I've got the liquid lipstick, I really do enjoy the colour, but I feel like I would like it better if it was in a bullet style lipstick. So um, I am finding that the liquid lips are a little bit drying on my lips, but I freaking love the colours. But also, um, it dries down slightly a little bit different colour on my lips than what it is when it's wet. But guys, I just, I don't know what it is about this shade. I can't even sort of describe it without saying it's kind of like a little bit of a purpley, greyish kind of situation. But I think it's absolutely stunning. And um, I finally picked it up and uh, yeah. It's my favourite shade, I have to say, that and uh, Calabasas, which is more of a brick red kind of colour, but both of them are absolutely gorgeous and I'm happy to have it in my collection. So the last product I want to talk to you guys about is Maybelline's product. This is Maybelline Superstay Ink Crown. I have two of them and um, they are an inspiration after their liquid lips. I have quite a few of those liquid lips and they are... <clears throat> I don't wear them very often because they're almost impossible to get off. So if you, you're in a situation where you're going to go out and you don't want to touch up your lipstick, go with the liquid lips in the um, Superstay Matte Ink uh, lipsticks from Maybelline. But if you want sort of like that matte kind of effect and you're not too worried about um, whether it wears down a little bit, these wear down really, really well. They will not stay on your lips <laughs> nearly as long as the other ones. 
The other ones are almost impossible to get off, guys. So these guys are fantastic. I absolutely love them. But my favourite shade at the moment has to be number 15, Lead the Way, which is what I'm wearing at the moment. I just find that almost it doesn't matter what look I'm wearing, I can throw this on. Wham bam, thank you ma'am, and it goes with almost everything. So, well, I feel it does anyway. So, these are really comfortable to wear. Um, they also have like this weird little sharpener thingamajiggy on the end, so you can keep it sharp if you want to. It's really easy to apply your, lip your lipstick with these, and um, I really enjoy it. That's everything on my list, guys. So, hopefully I didn't ramble on for too long. Um, and let me go, and let me know down below, guys, uh, like I asked before. Do you have any hand creams that you recommend? Do you have any body washes that you recommend? Um, I really do love that citrusy, woody kind of smell, but I'm also looking for a candle company as well. And guys, I've got a new video coming up very soon. I'm just waiting for some things to come in the mail. I just found a company in, well, it's in Australia. I'm not sure where in Australia. I'll figure all that out soon. But uh, they have 52 cents of candles and they're relatively cheap. So I've just ordered 12 little tea light candle version so I can smell 12 of their scents to see whether they are strong enough or, um, you know, I am very excited to do this because I want to record a video for you guys letting you know if the candles are great, what they smell like, whether or not I think that they're worth the money and, but in the meantime, I want to find some other candle places, preferably Australian owned, not too expensive, but I really do want punchy scents. I don't want to light a candle and then three hours be wondering where the scent is. I don't like that. So uh, if you guys have got any recommendations for any of those three products that I've been talking about, guys, please engage with me down below. Let's chat. If you don't want to chat here, I'm predominantly either here or over on Instagram. So I'll give you all my handles here somewhere. Um, yeah, I'll always respond, guys. So if you want to chat, let's chat. Alright guys, that's pretty much the end of my video. I want to thank you guys if you stuck around to the end. And um, yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye.